to have your own to-do list, daily to-do list. High priority on the top, medium priority in the medium, low priority on the bottom. Sometimes you cannot identify what is the high priority, right? Someone, you are in the middle of something, someone asking you something, that's not the high priority, it's easy to get it done. You have to distract yourself and guide that person. So that's also quick hit, high value. So you have to understand those as well. So we'll be talking about this in the future, but not now. So once this, you, you respond, continue, 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 out of the five user story, actually three user story is done only. You have your sprint is done. <clears throat> you have done your retro board. And retro is everybody is discussing what, what did go well, what did not go well, give the shout out to the team member, everything discussion, and what can we do, what can do better for the next sprint. But you have two, two user story left. Right? Mm -hmm. You are taking this to user story to the next sprint. That's called the carryover user story. It will be continued. It's called the velocity. Velocity means uh, I committed 100, I did 70, 30 is my velocity. Okay? So find out the velocity. This is the word we do. And then you will be continuing your journey of the sprint. That's it. Did you guys understand? Finally, I found the meaning of the word sprint. Yes. I've been looking for the meaning of this word. Did you guys understand? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Any question, ladies? Any question? Okay, so uh, the question about the testing part. So the product owner does the testing of the key after after the QA finishes the testing, right? And they. No, and no, they no. You do not do the testing. You just engage because testing, the manual testing is not rocket science. You are not supposed to do the testing, but if you, you need to slave your, the clothes, you have to because it's an easy testing. Yeah. Make sense? It's a testing is easy. Yes. Yeah, so you, need to, you need to see if this guy has enough test coverage based on your user story. So technically- Yeah, I need, heard that, you know, product- not. Okay, so I heard that you know product owners they have to approve uh, the user story. Yes. Before, like once they're done with it, so to approve it, you know sometimes you have to do the test case like no, you have to actually no. test the. I got it. I got your question. Approve does not mean you have to do it. Approve means you cannot do the software engineering approval. Just to you know verify if. if no, no, hang on, hang on. Let me let me answer your question. This is a good question. If you need to approve something, make sure. The QA has the senior representative. Okay. If you have the like a, the software engineering code approval, you need to make sure they have done their own review. One second. Mm -hmm. So so let me let me tell about the approval. So if the software engineer is coding, quality engineer is testing, the cloud ops engineer is deploying you need to ensure there is a review process internally between them. I mean, software engineer need to have their own approval process. And you need to see if they, there is a task that the senior engineer approve it. And the same for the QA, same for the cloud ops. In this case, when you see this, all the checks and balance are done, then you can approve without any problem. Did I answer your question oh, for me so there? First, oh, I get it. So first you get approval from the you know other members, the other group yes. members, and then you approve it if they agree. Oh, yeah. Correct, how you get the approval if there is no task created. Their task is actually there, actually the Holy Bible. The little task actually carry a lot of weight. If that task is not there and you're approving it, that's your concern. That's your, you actually took the risk. So what will ensure? Make sure there is a QA review there. There is a software engineering review there. There's and there has to be review. and there has to be a senior member to review as well. It depends. It depends. It doesn't have to be senior. If the two people is working, they already know what they are doing. If if their their leader appointed this two person for this project, you are good. They will be taking the responsibility, not you. So you have the thing from the, their leader. Yes. Their leader appoint two person for this project or three person. So you will 
and you will set up the expectation on the, on the table. You are the quality engineer who is going to review another quality. You are a software engineer who is going to review another software engineer. You are a backend software engineer who is going to review another software engineer. So whenever things come, the software engineer, they do review on the call and they do review on the GitHub because the code is already in the GitHub. Quality test case, they can upload the test case in the, on, the user, on the user story and the senior one can review it and then they can internally do all this work. You need to make sure all the process in place, people follow the process. Now you can hit the button approve. You got it? Yeah. Yes. It makes sense, right? You don't need to know everything. But what I was referring, what I was referring, manual testing is not that difficult. Engaging with this important, especially if you know the API part, you actually can drive everybody else. Because many, many team members will not have the API access. You will be actually, you can approve whose person get the API access, who is not. And that's the reason I gave you, I told you guys, learn the API test. You don't need to learn the automation. Just, the manual. Just manual, how this works, how the payload works based on your user story. That's all. Very simple. Good. And the test case, you already see what is expecting. What you are expecting each of the test cases based on the user story. Good. Yes. So basically, we just have to be, you know, present in each of the review meeting. Whenever yes, it engagement, exactly. The most, most, important. most important thing, your communication, your engagement. If you don't know something, of course, when you go to the job, I'll be behind how you deal with this. But in this, I actually give you all the answer how you deal it. But of course, if you go into the job, the first one I will tell you how to deal the situation but the writing the user story, set up the meeting, sending the meeting on the agenda, sending the meeting outcome, set up the, set up the expectation and the uh, grooming your, the backlog and the set up the sprint planning meeting and the lead the planning meeting and uh, lead the daily sync up call and the follow up the team member and the talking one-on-one -on -one and the update the stakeholder, update the technology manager. That's all your responsibility and set up the PowerPoint presentation, give the presentation, give the show and tell, if the QA is not ready for the show and tell, you have to give the show and tell because you have the commitment. Because some QA has no, no capacity to discuss in the, Public. in the publicly. That's the reason you will give the show and tell. You got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so first, if you, go ahead. Okay. So just two questions. So let's say like you finish the course, like you get to the job, you get the job, right? Did first you join as, they take you in as an intern, right? No, for you. How old are you? Me? Yes. I'm 18. How, how old are you? 18. 18. So we'll put you probably the, the, the intern. Yes. Technically, yes, you are. You will be, yes. How long do they make you intern for? Like you have a you have a full capacity to become a full grown up a product owner. You have that the, you have that skills. You have that competency. You, you are growing that the skills actually better than like the many product owner. Seriously, but because of your age, you start with the intern, and you will be through your uh, through your like activities. They will quickly pull you from the intern to the full time. But do not ask those question at this moment. Those are irrelevant. Um, so any Just question on this? Though, any question on that? You guys, that's the reason Agile LM or the Jira type of platform is your foundation. Mm -hmm. Right? And Are I'm, we going to be working actively on Jira? Uh, it just, is. You know. It's like a half an hour job. I do not worry. Yeah. I will teach you the Jira. We'll teach you the Microsoft Azure. One hour job. It's not that complicated. So I do not worry. Microsoft is an Agile working tool? They have Azure. Agile? Yeah, yes. exactly our interface. We actually follow their interface. Oh. To yeah. yeah, so there, there is actually the LM. The Jira is not the fully LM. Jira is a project management. Jira does a lot of things anyway. So, um, so that's the reason if you are not self-disciplined, if you have not the self-accountability, if you have a self-motivation, if you are not working yourself, if you want me to push you, uh, it will not work. It will take time. Because 
your communication, your like the engagement, your involvement, right? And then uh, 